Hey all, and welcome back for the finale of Knuckles' story in Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Since this is Sandopolis, and, you know, uh, I'd rather be anywhere else right now, mm -hmm. we are going to continue the uh, f trade of thought that I uh, <laughs> got into the station for, got a ticket, and bought the trade for at the end of the last thing. Hyperforms, or just additional superforms in general. Do you actually remember when you first got all the Super Emeralds, Flame? Were you surprised to see that there was another Super Form waiting for you? An evolution, as it were? Uh, no, because I think by the time I actually bothered getting around to doing a proper, like, good ending run of Free and Knuckles, I'd already watched the Let's Play. <laughs> oh, I see, you're one of those gamers. To me, playing Sonic as a kid, it was just a sort of mindless go fast game, and I didn't put much thought into it, at least not until I played Adventure. These are definitely games that I've got more appreciation for now as an adult, I'll say that much. I bring this up mostly because there is going to be a new Super Sonic form mm -hmm. in Sonic Frontiers. That's not a spoiler, it was in a public trailer, so you know, don't yell at me and whatnot, but uh, he has the blue eyes and the rainbow sparkles, so... You could call that a hypersonic returned from the grave, you know, don't call it a comeback. Hmm, it could also be uh, a nod to, uh, you know, Super Saiyan 2, which is basically the same thing, except with different coloured eyes and lightning sparkles, and we all know there's nothing connecting Sonic to Dragon Ball. Absolutely nothing at all. A absolutely not a thing, especially not now that we know that the emeralds came from aliens in space, and aliens in space, you know, came down to Earth and created certain bits and bobs. All I'm excited for, really, from the whole Blue Eyes thing is that now we're getting a new generation of Sonic Science discourse. There's going to be someone who thinks it looks terrible, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how he actually got green eyes in Fleetwo? Go on. What do you mean, go on? Don't you enjoy my little tidbits of l comic lore? No, I just... I, I hope it's something stupid. <laughs> okay, well, uh, one of uh, Sonic's friends, uh, a rabbit named Johnny Lightfoot, who I think is just based on, like, the uh, classic um, body you can rescue from bandits and whatnot, he, he was trying to, like, stop chaos at the time, because <laughs> the, the SA1 story is massive, massively... Um, truck dated or whatever the word is um, a bridge shall we say and uh, TLDR uh, he ends up dying Sonic rushes in and uh, basically gets spat out by chaos and when he turns around his eyes are green because he's absorbed too much chaos energy right okay then <laughs> see that's one of those things that you don't actually have to explain it's just a design change you could wreck on it for all it matters uh, but sometimes it's cool when they do go the extra mile and they do give you an explanation now richie you've played sa2 who do you think we're gonna see here <laughs> He's building himself up. Yes, there's, there's egg, egg Golem. One of the Egg Golem phases, because he sort of makes up the other boss as well. But yeah, I'm just going to try and bait him over. Surely he's not stupid enough to fuck himself over, is he? <laughs> Come on, in your own time, buddy. Now, I have to say, like, I, I am down with, I think, alternate versions of uh, Superforms excite me more than, say, like, the Hyperforms. Um, they just sort of seem a little bit, it's alright, but, like, when you have, like, say, Excalibur Sonic. The hyper shit. Yeah, that gets me hyper because then it's using the idea of Supersonic and it's either bringing it into the context of... Um, the story that it's telling in that sort of phase. So Dark Spine Sonic is also pretty damn cool, um, but I despise that boss fight, so, you know, I, I can only love Dark Spine Sonic so much. That's fair. So I kind of hope that actually the, 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 the form that we are getting in the Frontiers DLC is, like, Cyberspace Sonic. Um, rather than like Supersonic 2. Um, just because I think that it leads to more interesting designs and more interesting uses of the super form than the hyper, which just is 
the same but looks a little bit different. I get what you're saying, um, but the Chaos Emeralds are infinite, and it's kind of weird, like, Sonic has always seemed to use just a little amount of their infinite energy. He hasn't really tried to go beyond Super at any point, he's done exactly what he needs to do, and then he's let those babies go, so if anything, I'm surprised we didn't get Super Sonic 2 or whatever sooner. The thing is, like, having the even further beyond form is, like, it's a cool idea when, like, done sparingly. The problem you have with that sort of mindset, though, is that it then becomes a bit of a power creep. Yes. The series then has to kind of constantly one-up itself and it just becomes a lot less interested than, um. like, what, say, Richie was saying, you know, where you get the, like, purpose-specific forms, like the ones in the storybook games. Where it's like, you know, they've designed this particular form for this particular function. Uh, I, I don't think that's necessarily an issue, so long as there's like, extreme circumstances that, you know, necessitated Sonic activating this form. Like, you can not get that in every game. Well, the thing there is that the extra, like, the secondary purpose, or primary if you want to be cynical about it, purpose of having these cool new forms and the reason why it showed up in the trailer, and that was one of the things they showed off there, is that these are these can be used as quick things that get kids really excited because they see like this new shiny thing, this new sparkly Sonic that is cooler than the one they've already seen. Yes. But you know, like if they then want to have a new game that catches that same appeal, it's gonna be even cooler than the one that came before it. And so, like, I, even if like I would need to see that in action before I become too doomer about it because like I trust Ian Flynn I trust the other people to understand the appeal of Sonic so I don't think anyone's gonna intentionally abuse that but I could see it becoming a habit if it's not sort of kept an eye on you know yeah it is one of those things of it is a risk but it is something that you know, sometimes you do want to take that risk, and sometimes it's awesome, and sometimes it doesn't pay off. You don't know until you try it. Yeah. Um, and ultimately, that's what we're going to see, because this does seem like the first time that they are going for something a little bit more akin to a Super Sonic 2. And um, we, will, we will see how it occurs. Um, I, I am interested, to say the least. We are recording this pre-final DLC for uh, Frontiers, so uh, hopefully... Flame and I will enjoy that. We'll try and grab Tanner if he's available, uh, because obviously it's story related. It's not just random DLC, and uh, I hope it's cool. Just give me a better conclusion to the game, and you will make an already great game that much better. Honestly, agreed. We're talking about it being a Super Sonic 2. It does also raise questions as to why they're not using Hypersonic, given Hypersonic's function in Three and Knuckles is basically just a more powerful supersonic so it's like what distinctions are we gonna have now <laughs> yeah unless it is actually just the revival of hypersonic mm, you're getting me excited <laughs> that is a possibility we don't know they've been coy about like the super emeralds like, i think kishimoto said and i'm kind of paraphrasing here something extreme would have to happen for uh, you know the super emeralds to be unlocked or whatever well, might something extreme be happening? And you, you, you see where I'm going with this. They, they can do whatever the hell they like and they'll figure it out. Yes. This was a cop-out because Sonic Extreme got cancelled. It's never going to happen. <laughs> 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 I'm just taking my rock for a walk, don't mind me. It's cool, man. You know, we were just discussing, uh, you know, bullshit and whatnot unrelated to the game we're currently playing. You know, basically, the Sonic uh, Riders playthrough. But uh, a much shorter version. Yeah, I don't mind it happening in Sandopolis. It's when it happens through the whole LP that it bothers me. <laughs> and look, I still maintain that that was a fun LP, but, you know, not one of our best. There's a certain irony in me bringing this up in an LP, but I feel like there's limits to how off topic you can go before it just becomes a bit pointless in my eyes. But yes, here is the other Egg Golem boss, the bigger Egg Golem. Egg Golem, the cooler Egg Golem. 
that took a much shorter amount of time to die. Yeah, basically, but at least he didn't just kill himself like the last one did. Technically, the first form is just called Guardian, but it's the fucking Egg Golem, let's be real with it. Hell yeah, baby. Yes, Lava Wraith. Probably my favourite song in the game, maybe tied with Ice Cap. Fair. This one, I do have a bit of a soft spot based of, for this song, given how much I really like the OC Remix vocal version from, like, I think about 15 years ago now. But this little section on the top right there, if you need to get some more, like, special rings, you can go through the breakable wall there and get into Sonic section and go get the ones that Sonic could go to. Huh. But for other than that, if you have Hyper Knuckles already, you can just go on through this new lower room. It's funny you mention a vocal version of this theme, because does this not sound like something Michael Jackson would sing, like, instrumentally? Oh, it does. Entirely. Not so much. Like, we know that this was... This was part after Michael Jackson got removed from the project. I'm not saying it was a Michael Jackson song, Flame. I'm saying it sounds like, you know, the backing track of something he would sing. I guess so, but it's not as obvious as some of the others. Damn you, let me have my fun. You make me go hyper, which is even further beyond. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I like to kill Joy as much as I like to get the shiny knuckles on the screen. Fair enough, I guess. You are multifaceted in that regard. Oh, that's so satisfying, just crashing through these things. No spin dash pussy shit for us. This is Knuckles going, shoot, hurrah, hey, before he actually did it. As much as I like how Lava Reef looks and sounds in this game, I feel Mania spoiled me a bit with the like presentation of Lava Reef in that version. Oh yeah. Because that does some really cool subtle colour changing effects that just add such like this much more impressive like look to it on the whole. But then I mean I suppose the thing that you've got there, which is the obvious point, is that Technology has evolved a hell of a lot, and you can do a lot more with sprite work now than you ever used to be able to do here, so the fact that they achieved this at the time that they did is ridiculously impressive, and obviously, yes, looking at newer stuff does oftentimes make you look back and go, ooh, that's not aged as well as I, I thought it had, but... I suppose the stuff that we see now that does good stuff is where it looks like how we imagined things looked back in the day at that point in time. So what I'm saying is that Lava Reef in Mania looks like how people would have seen Lava Reef when it came out. You must look with the eyes of a child, unsullied and pure, to see Sonic as it was meant to be seen. I don't know if I can look with the eyes of a child, because my eyes still worked when I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this to kind of discount the fact that this looks absolutely gorgeous here still. <laughs> and like the thing is, we're talking about Mania and technology moving on, I do admire the restraint that they use with Mania's development, the very modest kind of tools they use, because like Mania's native resolution He's not that much higher than this game, so it's just like a widescreen take on this resolution. So, like, they were still, like, respecting the source material and just playing to the strengths of having a smaller development resolution. Mm. It just makes the more subtle changes all that more impressive, really. Mm -hmm. Me? I just like the transition from the Larvary Reef to the Crystalline palace area, as it were, and obviously, Hidden Palace coming up. Well, I wouldn't get too excited about Hidden Palace, given how it plays in this version of the playthrough. I see. <laughs> like, a lot of this is just new to me, because I cannot remember doing Knuckles Root as a kid, and I've got to be honest, I was struggling a little bit when I was, uh, you know, playing the game on the run-up to us doing comms here, like... I fumbled my jumps, I kept running into enemies, I just was not used to playing as someone other than Sonic or Tails. Well, for me personally, hands on the table, I've said before I feel that Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the thing that kind of holds it back a little bit to me is I feel like it goes on a bit and some of the later levels 
don't leave as much in the impact as they would in a shorter game for me because I uh, it's just wears on me after a while. I feel like Knuckles to me is my favourite way of playing the game. But before I go into any more about that, this is in Palace Zone. Okay. Knuckles is going. Yeah, I'm watching. That was Hidden Palace Zone. Are you... What? Perfection. Amazing. <laughs> love it. Iconic. Stunning. Oh, there it is. It's in the background. Yeah, you motherfucker. Oh, no! Unhand me, wench! It is a shame that they didn't have, like, an abridged take on the Death Egg, but also it wouldn't make sense for Knuckles to go to the Death Egg. No. So, having the final boss here, I think th this version of the game how you play it with Knuckles is a good, satisfying adventure. Naturally, if you were playing the game in its two halves, then this would have felt like a bit of a cheap adventure, but you know. You're basically finishing off what Sonic started. That's what's cool about it. This post-game adventure where you, the guardian of the island in the background, are taking control and the enemy gets a super form. That's fucking raw. Super Mecha Sonic here is a fucking cool design and I kind of want to see it again in another game. I'd be down with that. I mean, it'd basically be doing Metal Overlord, but slightly more interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like, given with Superstars going on that, they're clearly interested in keeping Classic Sonic going as its own series. and. There's a lot of opportunities for them to flesh out the world of Classic Sonic still, so... Mm -hmm. Although I'd prefer everything be original where possible, if they were going to revisit things from previous games, some of these things that they don't use that often would be cool to see. Yeah, for sure. God, what a scene here. Mecha Sonic powering up via the Master Emerald with Angel Island in the background. Absolutely, yeah. It's kind of a shame that you don't get a bonus boss where Knuckles can use Hyper Knuckles, but I feel like that might be a little bit overkill, you know, like if you flew off into space against this guy. <laughs> I would not be able to take that seriously, honestly. Here, let me glide through space. It'd be kind of sick, though, let's be real. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it would, yes. Yeah, hell yeah. You are my chauffeur now. We're friends, I guess. Do 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 do. Oh, it was shaking because it's falling. I remember now. It does that a lot. <laughs> it really does. They, they need to get some, like, jet propulsion in there. Or, you know, maybe some sort of insurance. Speaking of, an SDC, when fighting the Death Egg in this particular arc, Knuckles drove the island up into the sky and shot lasers at that fucking thing. It was raw as hell. But yes, that's enough bullshit from me, and enough bullshit from Flame and Richie. This has been Knuckles Story in Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. We want to thank you all so much for uh, sticking around and uh, watching us bullshit our way through my favourite classic Sonic game. But uh, we're done now, so I guess Flame and I will see you in a few weeks for the final DLC of Sonic Frontiers. Bye-bye.